And I guess we're live. Yes, I think we are. Okay, I think we are live. Yeah, good afternoon, we are. everyone. <laughs> yes, good afternoon, everyone. Um, good afternoon to all the viewers of this Facebook Live session once again. Uh, we're having coffee break, so I'm going to be um, calling in my um, colleagues, <laughs> DJ Nick and DJ Sam. There you go. Hello. I can see you. Okay. Let me just uh, start off by saying that I miss you both terribly. Miss na miss ka na namin. Miss you. How are you both doing? Eto, good, surviving, good. trying to avoid uh, COVID as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy to see both of you every week. At least um, by doing this, I know that you're both doing okay. You're both staying negative. Uh oh. Yeah. Kailangan negative diba? talaga tayo until this yeah. pandemic is over. Having a positive outlook. <laughs> Yes, especially now that you know, uh, you know the pandemic has changed the landscape of of um, every corporation, every company, and um, bumalik na yung iba sa trabaho, de ba? Fifty percent eh yes. bumalik na sa office, but there are still those who are still working from home, and that includes us, de ba? Mm. So, matanong ko lang, matanong ko lang since that is what we're going to talk about today. Paano kayo nag-adjust sa work from home setup natin? Mauna ka, Nick. Mm. For me, um, medyo struggle siya. Kasi nasa province ako ngayon. I'm with my family sa Bulacan. So, mahirap kasi unang-una, ayan, kagaya niya may mga tahol ng aso. <laughs> Ang hirap kasi syempre di ba pagka may kailangan ka i-produce struggle siya. Hindi mo siya hindi mo siya magawa ng maayos. Oh, ilang takes. Oh, it makaka ilang takes ka. And of course when we do our ad-libs, ay ba mahirap kasi hindi mo alam kung naririnig ba to sa radyo, naririnig kaya yung tahol ng aso namin ganyan. But we do our best, me I try my best to make the room as soundproof as possible. And nakikikooperate din naman yung family uh, when it's time for me to cast. So they try to stay away and try to be as quiet as possible. Because they're also working from home eh. Kaya medyo mahirap. Yeah. Kasi syempre nag-aagawan din kayo sa screen. Yeah. How about you, Sam? You know, from broadcasting from the studio and now you're bread, you're now broadcasting from home. Pa- paano ka nag-adjust on? Lalong-lalo na, napaka-busy dyan sa bahay kasi eh, ikaw meron ka pang you attend to your baby oh and yes. you're pregnant right now yeah. that's right well I believe ano eh medyo nakatulong sa atin yung uh, preparation that our team did uh, when we had the fire incident in Star City nung di ba nung October October, October last mm-hmm. year Oo. So, I'm thankful then for the company for helping us with the equipment that we need. Diba? And yeah. somehow, uh, medyo prepared tayo on that part. Kasi, uh, kumbaga pagdating sa gamit, hindi tayo masyado nahirapan. We can still produce quality yeah. materials even from home. But same with Nick, I have the same struggle. Yung you have to announce to the entire household that, hey, I'm going to record, please keep quiet. <laughs> and, uh, and you know, Nick, but... mas madali pang patahimikin ang aso. But if it's your neighbor's uh, rooster, <laughs> mag tilaot na <laughs> Correct. You know, there was, there Correct. was a time, I remember I was trying to record, may tumitilaot na manok to the point na hindi ko alam who owns it and I don't even know saan ang galing yung manok biglang may manok akong naririnig na tumitilaok sa hapon na sa hapon so what I did was ang ginawa ko binilang ko yung interval 
ng tilaok ng mga uh, ganun ko nagre-record in between can you imagine yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, i can't do anything about it alam mo yun? at least yung dogs kasi parang i can just tell them to be quiet pwede mo silang issue siya eh, diba pero sa tilaok ng manok ang hirap it's very challenging ayan lalo so, na hindi mo alam kung saan ang gagaling yeah, hindi ko talaga alam sa nanggagaling. So same with Nick, I have the same struggle. Um, it's it's trying to produce quality audio eh, without the background noise, eh. diba? Buti yeah. na lang yung equipment that we use somehow helps us, you know, with the background noise yeah. and the very minimal yung setup. Uh, yun nga lang, talagang hindi maiwasan minsan may biglang tatawa yung baby ko o iiyak or <laughs> kakawal sa <laughs> Katalaga. We have the same struggle. Yung recording at home, yun ang pinaka mahirap na part. Kasi syempre, yeah. we still want to provide quality audio material for our listeners. Eh, pag may aso, tsaka may manok ang kalaban, good luck naman. Mahirap. <laughs> Ako naman, kalaban ko dito, mga dumadaan na motor. Ayan. Kasi para Ayun. mas na- para mas nage-enjoy. Mas nage-enjoy silang magpaharurot kasi walang traffic, di ba? So from where I am, from where my house is, malapit sa TAF, eh minsan mas, mas humaharurot yung mga motor doon, tsaka mga jeep. Kaya nakakarating yung noise dito sa akin. It's really a struggle. Anyways, so paano nag-adjust yung mga kasama nyo sa bahay with uh, the current setup that we have right now, Sam? Well... Uh, especially with my children, since I do have two teenagers, ano. So whenever I'm in my uh, time zone, yung aking working mode, I remind them, hey, do not use the Wi-Fi or just play a non-Wi-Fi game on your cell phone. So hindi sila makipagagawan sa akin ng signal sa <laughs> Wi-Fi. And especially while doing this uh, FB Live right now, I told them to not use their gadgets so there won't be any interruption with my line. Yeah, yeah. Oo. Ikaw naman, Nick, paano nag-adjust yung mga kasama mo sa bahay? Yeah, same. I think the the struggle is really the internet connection because all of us are working from here. Like, my dad is working here. My, my ate is also working here. So, ngayon nga, may conference meeting sila. So, medyo agawan kayo sa bandwidth, di ba? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, what we do is parang nag-alternate kami. So, sa time na kailangan, kailangan ko ng malakas na internet connection like this one, uh, mobile data ko yung ginagamit. Oh, okay, yeah, naman. See. Pag hindi siya nakakonek, ako ako dun sa ako dun sa Wi-Fi, tapos siya naman na magmo-mobile data. Pag wala naman silang conference. So, bigayan. Bigayan talaga. Dito yeah, kalaban ko YouTube eh. So, wala silang gadget oh, pag nagtatrabaho ako. <laughs> you, oh. ako naman you, YouTube tsaka Netflix. Netflix. Oo, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, Netflix. So pagka ganito, kailangan patay muna lahat kasi ga kailangan kong gamitin tsaka well, isa lang naman kasama ko sa bahay. So ang announcement ko, sisigaw lang ako sa kwarto. Walang wala muna mag-iingay. Kaya <laughs> trabaho muna ako. Sa kayo muna kwarto eh. ngayon, eh, offices eh. We yeah. have 39 viewers as of the moment. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, how are you guys doing? May comments ba tayo, Sam? Okay, let, me, let me check them out. Uh-oh. We have a few comments here. Um, some greetings. Uh, Louie Mack is watching. Hi. And also to Amanda Trump, who says hello to her friends, Sheila Cotton in Cavite and Enil Pio Quinto in uh, Sambuanga City. Thank you, Amanda. Also, watching is Miss Asel. Hi, Miss Asel. Hi, Asel. Thank you so yun, much. Eh. And of course, Rialin Mendoza. Hi, DJ Nick, DJ Chloe, and DJ Sam. Ayan. Thank Hi. you so much for watching. Yun. So we've already talked about our struggles. Na-identify na natin yung mga struggles natin from the, um, the setup to the Wi-Fi connection to the tilaok ng manok. Mm-hmm. What is it that you mm-hmm. do para you still, you know, you, you are still productive kahit nasa bahay pa rin kayo? Yeah. Meron ba kayong sinusunod na schedule pa rin, Nick? Let's start with you. Yes, because um, even before Easy Rock, nagkaroon ako ng time na sa bahay ako for almost two years because I used to work from mm. home. Kaya yeah. alam ko na yung, yung temptation na malapit ka sa bed, tapos gusto mong matulog lang, tapos saka mo ikakram yung gagawin mo mamaya. So what I do is I really make sure that I write 
I write what I need to do the night before. Para ah, alam so ko meron ka pa rin. yung schedule. You still have a to-do list. Yes. No, not just a to-do list. I make sure that I put the time where I'm supposed to do it. Yeah. Para hindi para hindi ko siya ikram sa hapon. <laughs> Ayun. So Ayun. meron ka pa ring schedule talaga. Ikaw Sam, how do you stay productive even if even if you know we're working from home? Same with Nick. I also try to keep up a schedule on my own dito sa bahay. You know what works well for me? Uh, feeling, parang feeling mo nag-work ka pa din. Yun nga lang, nasa bahay ka and you don't get to dress up or leave your home, diba? Yeah. So, it, I find myself more productive that way by still following actual time na magtatrabaho ako. Kung baga parang ay naglalaan ako ng 8 to 9 hours pa rin for work in a day. So, I can make sure na I'm not missing on anything important and I'd still be able to be productive doing my duties here at home. Kasi mahirap lalo na pag uh, may plano kang gawin, i-schedule mo pa rin even yung uh, let's say I'm planning to clean up clean up my room or maybe uh, uh, do a bit of cleaning in the kitchen. I try to schedule that. The schedule ko na rin siya kasi makikipagagawan yes. talaga yung household chores with your uh, everyday duties na work at home pag hindi mo in-schedule ng maayos kasi ma- malilibang kang maglini sa bahay eh. <laughs> makakalimutan mo ay hindi ko pa pala nagagawa si ganito si ganyan so it's important that you have uh, you know your own time frame for doing your work at home thing and at the same time for the chores i try to schedule it para mas maayos yes that's correct. Kasi yung trabaho sa bahay, walang katapusan yan eh. That's I think true. it's a 24. <laughs> it's a 24-hour job. Lalo yung decluttering na yan, walang katapusan yan. Kasi That's it's true. always an, it's always an argument with yourself whether kailangan na ba tong itapon, ipamigay, o kailangan ko pa ba tong itago. Diba? <laughs> right. That is right. so true. Yeah. Alam nyo yung work Very... from home, oh, yung work from home setup, May it may not be applicable for all, de ba? But do you think it's it's better for those companies and sectors na kaya naman siyang gawin? Well, I believe if it's uh, more on office duties and computer work yung ginagawa nyo, and and uh, you have this software that the company can you know that you can access even out of the office. I think it's better for now, ah, for for the situation now, because you the 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 target is to minimize the risk. Eh. Diba? to avoid yeah. infection of employees because uh, we understand that companies have already suffered or have already gained a lot of losses with their businesses yeah. with their income tapos at the same time nagpapasweldo pa sila diba? tapos ang baba ng kita ng kumpanya uh, it will help the company if you know employees or a few employees or none of the employees will be effect- infected with COVID-19 kaya the work at home setup is really a wise choice for most companies and I'm thankful that a lot of companies like ours is very flexible enough to allow us to do our work at home mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. how about you Nick? yeah yeah I think this is an know, uh, medyo samang sabihin na parang it's an amazing time also to be in because I think a lot of companies are becoming more resourceful yeah. uh, in terms of what they can about what they can and how they they designate certain tasks to their employees. Kasi, kaya naman pala. Kaya naman i-work out. Pero, syempre, dahil nga special case ngayon na magkakahiwalay tayo. Pero, tingin ko, iba pa rin kasi yung may physical space ka, may office ka, kung saan doon nagtatrabaho yung mga empleyado. Kasi, usually, di ba yung bahay, parang nakikita natin siya as, a, as our sanctuary, as our safe haven. And kapag yes. nahaluan na siya ng work, medyo na, mas nakaka-feel ng burnout yung mga empleyado. That's so, yun true. naman parang, yung sa Parang nai-invade na rin yung privacy mo sa bahay. Privacy. Diba? You're right. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. But Meron siyang pros and moment, cons. We don't have kumbaga. any choice. Yeah. We don't have any choice but to really adapt to the new normal kasi uh, lalo na sa atin that we still, we want to uh, we want to uh, maintain our jobs. We want to still be employed, kumbaga. Yeah. Kailangan yes. natin mag- actually, mag- the, mag-adapt. The work at home setup is somehow helping employees who have existing health conditions. Eh. 
Diba? Like, uh-huh. like for me right now, I'm pregnant. Yung iba naman, merong existing na sakit. Diba? So, they are, they are more at risk. Kung baga, immunocompromised ka eh. So, uh-huh. the work at home setup will really help the employees. So, you know, who's still trying to make a living. Uh, tapos, syempre, may pinagdadaanan na sakit na o oh, ginagamot pa lang. So, magandang tulong din for the employees yung ganitong flexible work arrangement. Yun nga lang, nakakamiss talaga yung ano, like what Nick said, iba pa rin yung pumapasok ka every day, di ba? Well, there's always a first for everything, so and this is the first time that we have experienced something like this in our lifetime. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> <laughs> Yun na lang ang tingin yeah. ko sa ganun. Anong nami-miss? Anong nami-miss niyo sa office natin? Ang nami-miss ko yung ano yung mga regular weekly meetings natin tas may merienda pagkatapos. <laughs> Ngayon oh, kasi meeting na lang, walang merienda. <laughs> Oh, oh. Pero ang nakakatuwa dyan, there's so many things na we have realized. Before kasi we spend a lot of time traveling and we spend a lot of money on food para lang makapag-meeting. Yeah. Diba? Ngayon, pwede naman pala yung mga quick meeting na one, one hour or 45 yeah. minutes na, na via virtual lang. Kaya naman palang gawin yun. It also Uh-oh. saves us time. Pagkain, ano? diba? Oo, <laughs> wala pang gastos. <laughs> Hindi ka pahirap Stipend. maghanap ng parking. Lalo na kung mag-meeting sa labas, di ba? Actually, kahit pa paano, malaki rin yung tipid natin ngayon, di ba? Kasi wala tayong gastos ng gasolina. Oh, um, that's right. Hindi tayo kumakain ngayon sa there is no eating out or dining out. So, malaki rin yung natitipid natin. I am so sure Ang that our lang whole temptation. ng delivery Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kasi a, a lot of the brands and either essential oh, yeah. items or non-essential items, medyo they're going heavy on online shopping. So there's a lot of temptation yeah. lang. <laughs> That's true. Lahat ngayon kasi mabibili mo na online, ano? Everything is just available online. Anyways, if you can uh, if you can choose, anong pipiliin nyo? Do you want an office set up or gusto nyo ba yung every now and then, when things go back to normal, meron ding time na bigyan tayo ng pagkakataon to work from home. Meron ding tayong ganong setup. I think, existing na sa atin yung ganong setup noon pa eh, before COVID eh. Kasi di ba pag weekends, when we get our day off, there are still some productions that we do at home because we have the equipment, di ba? Hindi na tayo yeah. nakaka- may time na masyado ng late, hindi na tayo nakakapunta sa station. So, I think uh, okay lang na ano, na kahit hindi madalas yung work at home, basta we get access to our studio so we can go live again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Nick? Ako naman po ako na macro per siguro. All or if not point the all, pero like a good number of companies will apply this. Parang feeling ko sobrang makakatulong yun sa public transportation and sa pag-decongest ng traffic. So, yeah, kung it will kaya definitely ease the transport oh. system. Ako yeah. rin, much as I'd like to go back to my normal beat na papasok mm-hmm. sa opisina, broadcasting from the studio, gusto ko, uh, i-consider din sana ng mga kumpanya to also allow Um, part of their employees or at least all of their employees na siguro isang linggo to work from home para lang unang-una makatipid pangalawa madecongest sabi ni Nick yung um, yung uh, yung mga daan malaking tulong yun sa traffic eh Sobra. at saka makapagpahinga rin yung mga empleyado although ngayon sawang-sawa tayo sa pahinga <laughs> Aminin natin yan. Yeah, yeah. Miss na miss na natin yung ating actual, you know, doing the thing of work every Oh, yeah. Day. The mall, not just the broadcasting every day ha, sa studio natin, but the mall shows, the premieres that we sometimes take for granted. Yes, I know. yes, yes, yes. I right. remember the before sticker the start campaign. of oh. the, the quarantine, COVID? we, are, we, we were supposed show, to have... Uh, a mall show in Market Market. It was already yeah, nag- set up, nag-meeting na. As in, ano na lang, show na lang talaga yung magaganap. Nakapag-book na tayo Nag-alarm ng alarm yung phone ko eh. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Sayang, hindi na tuloy yeah. because of the pandemic nga. Tapos after that, yun na, quarantine na. Yeah. If there is one thing that you are both thankful of, that you are working from home, you were given, or we're all given a chance to work from home ngayon, ano yung pinaka-thankful kayo? Ako, having work <laughs> itself is already something to be thankful for. Because not yeah. everyone can. Um, tapos siguro yung ability natin na makapag-broadcast from home, you know, have it the right equipment for it uh, is already a blessing because well for for others in the broadcasting industry talagang wala eh wala silang means ngayon eh um, to be yeah. able to air sa mga frequencies nila so i think that's already something uh, and yung plus fact mas well do pa rin tayo um, yeah. kahit na hindi tayo nagre-report sa office sobrang laking bagay na yun how about well, you Sam? With a work at home setup, I really feel blessed na me and the rest of my family and my Easy Rock team, the entire Easy Rock team are all safe from COVID-19 and that is one of the biggest blessing. Ay masaya ako yes. na wala pong nagkasakit sa atin, 'di ba? And yeah, same with DJ oh, Nick. Yeah, thankful thankful for this job that we still have kasi alam naman natin yung iba no work no pay, 'di ba? So, kahit pa paano tayo, kahit na uh, medyo malaking adjustment doing the work at home thing and uh, syempre ibang klase yung pressure ng work at home ka. Um, thankful ako that we still have this job. We still get to keep it, 'di ba? <laughs> during this uh, yeah. during this time na merong pandemic. Yeah, that's right. Ako naman, I'm very thankful that I was able to experience this itong experience na to that I am able to work from home because well, I was able to find out the things na kaya ko palang gawin that I can be resilient that I can be resourceful yes and that the company has also given us the chance to experience na even when there is a pandemic they are doing their best to really keep us mm. and that's really something that's right. na we should be very very thankful of diba? that's right hindi rin naman right. hindi rin naman biro yung ma-experience natin to ngayon imagine na nangyari to in our lifetime di ba yeah yes who would have thought na ma-experience natin yan and i hope you know after yeah. 20 years wala na uling mangyari na ganito na mas malala <laughs> oh yeah after 20 30 40 years sana wala nang mangyaring ganito talaga and mag-ingat na rin yung mga tao totoo kumbaga di, di natin alam kung saan ba talaga to nang nanggaling eh ano nangyari to yeah, yeah plus Ay, the time diba? that, that the time that I think we keep on uh, parang taking for granted parang ngayon na-realize natin like we have so much time if we only know how to you know to really schedule to manage, <laughs> to manage it to manage our lives kaya we can get things done And we can make time for the people we love and care about. That's right. That's right. And yeah, make, this uh, no, this pandemic really helped us realize a lot of things, de ba? The mga small things that we tend to uh, you know take for granted before. Ngayon talagang ano eh big deal na siya. Eh. <laughs> Isipin mo mag yung magkita lang eh hindi mo magawa, de ba? So we you know we seldom meet our friends or our relatives. Yeah, that's true. So anyway, I guess um I guess uh, that's about it for all of us. It's a uh, it's um it's good that we're able to have this conversation again. And I'm yes. happy to see both of you. Ito na yung pinaka rain check natin with each other. Mag-greetings with all tayo our viewers and listeners as well. Yeah, go. Sige, Sam. All right. Uh, let's see. Wait, Here's I see Jenny is watching. <laughs> Mavic Yuzon is also watching. Pa shout out naman they're watching from Bacoor, Cavite. Hi guys. Miss Joy Rapadas Castillo Hello from Vista Malls is watching. Hi Miss Joy. Meron akong nabasa kanina na mimiss niya na daw na kumakain tayo sa store niya, Nick. Sino ka? Oo, oh, si si Danski, Dan si Danski. Ah, si Danski. Hindi pa di mention ni Sam. 
<laughs> Pero kung makain <laughs> tayo doon. <laughs> Yung madalas na nagbibigay sa atin ng ano, discount. Ah, yeah, yeah. mo, Dansky. Mamamasyal din uli kami dyan. Kakain uli kami dyan. Because um, before the pandemic, madalas kami doon ni kumain eh. Yeah. Oo nga. <laughs> At saka nagbe-breakfast mga... meeting tayo doon. Oo, oh, yung breakfast meeting uh-huh. natin doon, nakakamiss na. I miss that. Yeah. Aurora Masahin ko itong sabi niya, no? Watching. Sabi ni Nathan, yes, Sinan. Mm. It's more helpful if they can truly provide shuttle even to the nearest landmark because the mm-hmm. shuttle services offered have limited places or areas where they can drop or pick up employees. Ayan. Sana nga, no? Sana nga. Merong ganon. There are companies na nagpa-back to work na. Uh, like for my cousin, medyo kagulo daw nung unang araw na nagpa-back to work sila. Kasi may, nag- may nagsabi daw na meron shuttle, kasi ganito ang oras. Ang ending, hindi Wala nasundo na lahat ng empleyado. So, hindi rin nakapasok yung iba. <laughs> Uy, tumaas yung benta. I was watching the news yesterday. Tumaas yung benta ng mga bikes, ha? Oh, yeah. Marami yes. bumili ng bisikleta. Kaya mo, Nick, from Bulacan, <laughs> tupasay. <laughs> Inisip nga, pwede pong dumaan sa NLEX ng nakabike. May bike lane na kaya doon. Inland, Siguro. 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 Gusto ko bibili lahat. ng bike, di ba? Para oh, makapagtrabaho. That's right. Kasi, ba't nga naman aasa kung walang magpapasakay at walang public transport? So, you know, they really have to make that smart move of purchasing their own bisikleta. Kung meron na talaga sila, mas maganda. Mas makakatulong sa kanila. Yeah. Some companies naman daw are, ano eh, are um, giving their employees uh, parang budget for a bike. Malaking bagay, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Ako lang, if there's Hi. less pollution, why would I still bike? Maglalakad na lang ako, ang lapit-lapit ko. Totoo. <laughs> <Correct>. Actually, actually. <laughs> Walking distance I mean, ka lang eh. <laughs> pwede namang mag-shower sa station. Di ba? Oo, correct. Kung hindi ka namang mag-shower. Na mag-shower na, no? Oh, na-miss, na-miss ko yun. Na-miss ko na mag-shower sa office. Na- isa sa mga na-miss ko yun. Yeah. Hi to ano, Ace Chester Ambrosio and Rialin Mendoza and also to Jenny and my husband is watching Hi din daw Tito Barrios, <laughs> ano ba yan? <laughs> Ang layo ah Sir Ang layo, sabi ko lang ito ulit eh Board in the house ba yan? Board in the house <laughs> Sinusuportahan yung stream natin <laughs> Ay nako Yeah, Marla De Leon, Rafael Gutierrez. Hope you guys are okay. Ayon. From the office of Pasay, Ace Chester Ambrosio, sa City Hall ng Pasay siguro to. Hello sa mga taga City Hall ng Pasay City. Thank you so much for watching. Alagaan yun si DJ Chloe Jen sa Pasay yah. Oh nga. Oh ano naman kami dito? Uh, nagpapasalamat naman ako sa LGU ng Pasay kasi nakailang wave na rin naman ng pagbibigay ng relief o oh, masaya kaya ako doon. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Yes, yes, yes. Diba? We need all the help that we can get. Huwag tayong Correct. choosing ngayon. That's right. Diba? Yun. So, meron pa ba? Meron pa ba tayong uh, babasahin dyan, Sam? Wala na, parang nabasa ko na ata lahat. Ah, si Dana Fe. Ayan, Dana Fe, Rafael Gutierrez, Guardiola, and Marla De Leon. Hello to all of you. And uh, Taleb Alba is also watching. Thank you so much. Ayan. By the way, if you have something in mind na gusto nyong pag-usapan namin via Coffee Break, you can just uh, send us a message through the Facebook page of Easy Rock Manila. Sabihin nyo lang po doon kung ano po yung gusto nyong pag-usapan namin sa coffee break session namin. And we'd gladly uh, do it for you. 
Yes. That's right. Baka may suggestion kayo ng topic, feel free to message us sa Easy Rock Manila fan page. Ayan. Kahit usapang puso, pwede rin naman, di ba? Oh, why not? Why not? <laughs> Kamusta oh. na ang mga relationships ngayong may pandemic at may quarantine? <laughs> merong masaya, merong hindi masaya. Maraming misis yeah. ang masaya kasi naka-lockdown si Mister. Oh. Correct. <laughs> Yung mga mag-boyfriend, girlfriend, I believe na mimiss na nila isa't isa. Bigla silang nag-love this sure. kind of relationship eh. I'm sure, oh. I don't oh. love in the time of COVID. May mga nakikita pa ako nagiging, uh, nag-change ng relationship status on Facebook in a relationship. And I'm like, wow, guys. I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> Nakahanap kayo na, nag-love online. So, okay. Sige, good for you. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, diba? Sa akin nga lang sa... Mag- Go ahead. Alam sa Chloe's inbox eh, marami pang nagpapadala sa akin ng sulat. At alam niyo naman yung mga pinapadala sa akin, puro mga problema. So, meron pa ring namum problema kahit um, naka-lockdown na silang magkasama. Alam mo yun? I think mayroong mga mas nam problema. <clears throat> Kasi marami mag-asawa na hindi na sanay magkasama 24 hours a day. So I think adjustment din yun para Correct. sa kanila. Diba? Imagine Totoo. you have to be with that person for 24 hours eh hindi ka na nga sanay nakasama yung tao. You just get to see each other in the morning and in the evening. Oh. Di, parang halos hindi mo na rin yes. yun. Ang sad news lang na na-encounter ko about yung, uh, yung relationships in time of quarantine. Uh, but mostly hindi dito sa Philippines. Uh, uh, sa abroad, na do, lumalaki daw yung case ng abuse, like physical abuse. Oh, yeah. Oo, oo, oo. Kung baga, mas nabubugbog yung asawa. Oh. Yeah. Totoo. Oh gosh, Totoo. Nakatakot yan. Oo. Oh, oh. Kesa syempre, Dito iba naman, naman yung kultura sa kanila. Iba yung weather, iba yung senaryo doon, diba? Yeah. Oo, oh, tsaka parang mas ano sila doon, eh. Parang, Paano ba? Paano ko ba sasabihin? Sa mga first world country na meron ng mga tulong ang gobyerno, they are well provided, na problema pa sila. May mga cases pa na nagkakaroon ng mga mental health issues. How much more dito sa third world country, no? Hindi nila alam kung yes. ano talaga yung struggle natin dito. Totoo. Totoo yan. Oh, this is Lumayun going to be a good topic. Anyway, uh, yeah, in the, we can talk about that break. next week. Yeah. 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 Kumustahin natin yung Wait, mga na-lockdown. Wait, dami bagong messages. <laughs> Basahin natin. Sabi, sabi ni Pop sa uh, Talusan Alex, siguro suggestion nyo na to, LDR, lockdown relationship. <laughs> and uh, here's a greeting going out to Dominic Nicolas. Wow. I miss your What's life. What's your name? Humbleness to... Highest level. I love you most, especially <laughs> Dominic. Wow! Wow! Who's that? Who's that? Dominic? Maritoni Soriano Rojas. Always listening to your program, guys. Really enjoy the music you're playing. Thank you, Maritoni. Ayan. Julie Bautista says about schooling daw ng mga kids. Sana pag-usapan natin. Actually, parang napag-usapan natin siya sa last episode. Eh. Last week? Oo. Mm-mm. Anna Michelle Aragon, hello guys, stay safe and God bless. Thank you, si Pops Talusan. Hi, Lucky. Mm, hi, Lucky. Lockdown relationship, oh nga no, LDR. That's LDR. LDR yeah. Yeah, pag-usapan natin yan next week. Maganda yan. Kuya Mike is watching, Michael Navara. Hi, Kuya Mike, it's been a long time. Thank you for watching. Ayan. Si Aki. Thank you for watching, Aki. Yon. Okay. G- I guess uh, inabuto Giro na tayo ng Romanaya. oras. Ayan. Thank you, Uh-oh. Jiro. Jinarima, thank you then. The best set of DJs ever though. Wow. Thank you, thank you. Maraming salamat. Oh thank you. <laughs> so I guess that's about it for us. Inabuto na tayo ng oras. 
So, we'd like to say thank you to everyone for joining us. I hope that you can again join us next week. Bigyan ko na pagkakataon yung dalawa kong kasama to say their, um, um, yung mga messages nila para sa inyo. Ayan, go ahead. Kahit sino mauna. Go ahead, Nick. Ikaw muna. Okay, um, with regard to our topic, I hope that you are always grateful that you have work because not everyone has right now. So, mahalin natin ang mga trabaho natin. My stresses along the way, but I hope that our playlist and in a way, us reaching out to you online can also your work day. And again, as always, be safe, wash your hands, and stay at home whenever you can. Sam? Thank you, DJ Nick. All right, so to all of you na nasa ganitong setup, if you have uh, a work-at-home setup or currently doing a work-at-home setup, be thankful that you still have a job and uh, you, you still get to keep your job diba, despite this pandemic. Some have considered you know, laying off some of their employees. Yung iba naman, no work, no pay. So the more that you have to be thankful every day despite what's happening around the world and okay, mag-alala. Just try to keep a positive outlook and all of this will end soon. Babalik din tayo sa new normal na maganda. <laughs> That's right. And ako naman, para doon sa mga, uh, to everyone who's working from home, make sure that uh, you cooperate and uh, you cooperate with your company. Wag nang masyadong matigas ang ulo, whatever it is that's needed to be done. Kung ano yung output na hinihingi sa inyo, try your best to do everything you can because, you know, everybody is um, in a struggle right now. Even the companies are also struggling. So, to still be working is a huge blessing. So, wag natin pahirapan ang sarili natin. It is indeed stressful enough <laughs> every day. Wag na rin natin pahirapan yung mga kumpanya natin. Let's just be very cooperative sa lahat ng mga hinihingi nilang output sa atin so that we can all survive this pandemic and this situation. Yun. That's right. Okay, so I guess, thank you so much. Maraming salamat. Thank you for joining us. We will see you again next week, God willing, for another edition of Coffee Break. My name is Chloe, together with... I'm Sam. And I am Nick. And this is 96.3 Easy Rock. Just the right rock. Bye! Bye! Thanks for watching!